Hey everybody, this here's my mulcher. I think it's going to be way too loud to actually hear anything, so I'm not going to talk over this. I'm going to throw a voiceover over it. But you get to watch me do a little yard work and destroy some mulch. All right, gloves are very important for working with a wood chipper. So make sure you have all your protective gear on and make sure you wave at the camera a whole lot. You put a lot of stuff in and you want, don't want to put your fingers in the little hole because it will eat you up. So one of the reasons I'm making this video is because Japan's garbage rules are a little complicated, particularly if you're not living in an apartment building. An apartment building, generally you can go down to the garbage disposal any day of the week, toss your trash in, your separated trash. There's burnables and plastic where, I am, where I'm at and you can just toss it in there any day of the week. But if you are out living in the hood, in the neighborhoods in a house, or a very small apartment complex, sometimes garbage is only available on the day that the garbage is going to be removed. So, there's also a limit as to how many bags of garbage you can put out. Where I'm at currently, where I'm at currently, you get two bags of garbage per takeout, which happens twice a week. In my particular neighborhood, my garbage man comes on Monday morning and Thursday morning at exactly 9.01, pretty much. And so if you don't have the garbage out under the net, and there has to be a net, I'll talk about that in a second, before the garbage guy gets there, they will not take it. And if you have three bags of garbage that you need to put out, then you need to save one until the next day. So usually in one week, they take out burnable garbage twice, and where I'm at, uh, you can put out pet bottles and recyclable plastics uh, one day a week. And here, that's a Tuesday. The stuff that I'm chopping up in the video, however, does not count as burnable garbage. It is garden waste. And it is only available on Thursday morning, and like I said, you only get two bags. And these bags count against your normal limit. So when I used to do this, just by trimming these and putting all this brush into garbage bags, I would end up with 15 or 20 bags and then spend the next two or three months putting these garbage bags out one at a time because I could only, I had to take out my regular garbage and put out one of these garbage bags with my name on it. And if you're not, your name is not on the garden waste it will not be taken at least in Osaka here and it was a huge pain in the butt what I found was if I went ahead and got a mulcher I could fit the same amount of stuff into two or maybe three garbage bags and if I was really careful about household garbage during one week I could get rid of everything on one Thursday my neighbors have been kind enough to say well just go ahead and put my name on the on the garden waste it's no problem and so I've done that once or twice, but uh, I'm a little wary about it because I don't want to get, I don't want to screw up the garbage because one of the worst things you can do in a Japanese neighborhood is screw up the garbage because it screws it up not only for you, it screws it up for everybody. Now, when I was living in the foreigner complex uh, where there was all foreigners, nobody really worried too much about screwing up the garbage um, because nobody liked the guy who took care of the buildings so but he would go through the garbage and the people who screwed it up he would find out which apartment it came from by going through the garbage and leave it in front of your door it was very nice of it sort of the explanation for what was wrong with the garbage was of course was of course put on a sticker on the bag, but nobody really could read it because there weren't that many uh, Japanese spouses in the buildings at that time. So there are a few things that the mulcher will not take. This, is, uh, this stick is a little bit too big and will not go. Also, it's very important to make sure when you are running a wood chipper or a mulcher that you dress properly. And I got the gloves on and everything, but I really should be wearing long sleeve sh or I really should be wearing long pants and socks and real shoes rather than Crocs and shorts. But it was hot, so I didn't want to. 
But getting the garbage right is a very serious offense. Now, here where I'm at, it's separated into burnable and plastics. So, and they don't care all that much if you have one or two plastic bottles in the burnable stuff, but don't put the burnable stuff in the plastics because they get very upset about that. The garbage can be separated in a couple of different ways. I'm pretty fortunate right now. The city that I live in uses clear, just as long as they're translucent plastic bags, any almost any translucent plastic bag up to 45 liters is okay. Over 45 liters, they will not take it, even if it's not full. And if the bag is uh, dark and cannot be seen through at all, then they will not take that either. So it needs to be a light white that you can kind of see stuff through or the ones that I'm currently using are absolutely clear and uh, I don't like them all that much because you can see too much. Which brings me back to the garbage net. So everybody in the neighborhood takes a turn at putting the garbage net out at the appropriate time so that everybody else can put their garbage underneath it because crows are particularly smart. And they will drag your garbage all over the street and if it's your fault because you didn't get the net out in time then you got to clean it up so make sure the garbage net is out on time or everybody will be mad at you the garbage procedures are probably some of the most complicated stuff that you have to deal with when you're living in Japan even in apartment buildings they're a little bit more lenient you can get away with a lot more stuff but but you do have to double check the rules and make sure that you're not breaking any of the rules that you don't know and make sure you know exactly what the garbage rules are because if one thing is going to get you ostracized by your neighborhood, screwing up the garbage will definitely do that. All right, I think uh, after the little speed up there, we're pretty close. And I'm going to turn it back over to me and I will see you later. And that is how you do some of the yard work in Japan. One of these days, perhaps, I will, uh, oh, I'm a little too short. One of these days, perhaps, I will uh, let you watch while I trim the rest of the bushes and all the other fun stuff. But it, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the talk and uh, hopefully this actually recorded some stuff and hopefully the sound wasn't too bad. And I will talk to you later.